We're now ready to tie the warp onto the rod. And you can see I've already done two. I like to start in the middle, and then I'm going to work from one side to the other. There are many different ways of tying your warp on. This is the one that I have found that worked the best. I'm going to take the two groups, one on each side, split them. Then I'm going to go do the old square knot, the first half of the square knot, and tie it fairly tight. Then I'm going to go to the other side over here. I'm going to split this one in half, bring it down around. I'm going to take that and again tie it pretty tight. I'm going to go back and tie these also. These should be fairly tight to begin with. Again, I'm going to go side to side. So I'll go from one side to the other side. I have found doing this particular method works for me. You might try another method and find that it works for you. This method has been very successful in basically keeping my selvages nice and neat and even. The theory is that as I'm tying these on, the inside becomes a little bit looser and the outside's a little tighter, which is works very nicely for when you're weaving. Before I actually did the tying on, I checked to make sure I didn't have any threading errors because untying all these and redoing them it's not always time efficient. And sometimes if you tie a really tight knot, it's very difficult to get it untied. So you see, I'm almost done with my first round. If I have done this fairly tight, which I have, I probably will only have to do this one more time. If not, I might need to do it twice. So let me do it as if I didn't do it. So I would go through here one time again, as you can see. I'm trying to keep my tension about the same on each one. This is some unmercerized organic cotton. I would not recommend starting with this if you are new at weaving. All right, so now I have that fairly tight. Now I'm gonna go back and do the other part of the square knot. So each one of these comes across, take the next group across, I will probably trim those, these ends off later after I start weaving. Almost done. Now we're done.